Hey guys, Sacramento Intro 3 here, and today I am doing a whole new series. I started a second Minecraft Java Survival Let's Play. I never finished the first one because something happened to the world, and then just couldn't find any Endermen, and I suck. I just gave up, I guess. I never got around to filming it, recording it. The other one just wasn't going too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off with... Um, Basically, inside the nether, now we've got this new block that allows you to respawn in the nether. Uh, it has four ticks every time you give it a uh, glowstone block, adds another one, and when once it runs out, you go back to the overworld. So we'll just either have to get more glowstone to continue it, or just have to restart our cells, like give ourselves some glowstone with commands. I really don't want to cheat, but unless we can go without dying for that long, then yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm basically doing another survival on 1.16. So we'll see how this series goes. Since I'm quarantined because uh, coronavirus got no school do got online school but i got most of my work done i've got stuff done in advance all i got is really my math right now and yeah so might as well do something <clears throat> so let's let this load sorry in advanced for like i can hear this and my clicking and stuff and my keyboard because i don't have my headphones in all right okay let's gui stuff like this uh, chat. No, controls. Right. No. Why is it all small? I don't like this. Um, well, no, it's not mess with that. I don't know, I know you guys don't really want to see this, but it's so tiny, I don't like it. Hold up. Not even that big. Did they shrink it? I don't know, but anyway, let's go. And then obsidian. Okay, we won't really count that as an advancement. Just need to get to be another. Once we're here, we'll break this. And we are inside a soul sand valley for our spawn. All right, maybe a little loud. We find where that new block is at. Right here. Now we just need some glowstone. There you go. Game mode survival. Respawn point set. So that's our respawn point right there. All right, there's a lot of yes, and they're loud. So let me go to this. Snow creatures down. <clears throat> I'm just hoping that I'm louder than them. Ooh, oh yes. You got a warped forest right there, or crimson forest actually, I think is what it's called. But we'd have to dig for all of this for a while. All right, that's up pretty loud. I just don't want it 
to be too quiet to where you guys are like, I can't really hear anything. But you get the gist. So we're going to make our way over to that crimson forest. And, um, yeah. And I'm so glad that Endermen spawn so much in there. Endermen are the hardest thing to hunt down. So we could probably speed run this, kind of. <clears throat> I also forgot to uh, set like a 20 minute timer. Let me check how long this has been going on for. No, you guys are like, geez, this guy has got nothing under control. His videos are like a piece of crap. Now you're probably not saying that, but I, you know. All right, when it gets to 15 minutes on my stopwatch or whatever. We should be good. This is all good. Sorry, this is pretty slow. At least this mine's way faster than normal stone. <clears throat> all right, getting to another surface here. All right. I just don't want to fight those gas. Hopefully, we didn't go too low. Oh. All right, let's do this. I'm so glad that, um, is this, I always want to say soul stone, but it's a uh, soul soil, <laughs> soul stone from end game or adventures, you know, marble. Um, I'm just so glad that it's not like, doesn't slow you down. All right, so what I need to do is, all right, come on. Hmm. All right, for food though, we're going to have to find um, another warp forest. So hopefully they are close around or a red other warp forest at least because the other one's a crimson forest. Break this breaks pretty fast, so I'm thankful for that. This can be like our main building block, like dirt. All right. Oops. Hold up. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Now we have a way back up to our spawn. Yeah, that's a pretty nice start. Also, they added, oh my gosh, there's a lot. Since the last time that um, I made like a snapshot thing, they added these things and I think they're climbable. Yep. And they grow from the ground. So that's pretty cool. We have everyone use that, but obviously you probably need shears. So we need to find, um, Another, another fortress. That's it. Because once we find another fortress, you may be able to find diamonds and stuff, and eventually, even get to. Wait, how does this work? You do just get it. All right, nice. Um, but as I was saying, uh, wait, that was all the wood. Um, this is also animated. I actually forgot. But yeah, we'll be able to go to the overworld. Once we get there, though, I'm not sure if it will change. Like, obviously, we need to get to the end. But I don't want to, like, change the whole series to where it's just I'm in the overworld the whole time. I want to live in the nether. So I'm going to keep the... I wonder if these shroom lights work on the respawn. Hopefully we don't die. I don't have it on hard because the nether's pretty, pretty tough. Also, um, throughout the series, there may be more snapshots and things being added. So changes could occur over time, like new features. OK, 
Okay, come on. Need these. Need to collect them. Oops. I don't know if they'll be. Ah, it's useful to step in though. Um. Forgot what I was using. Oh yeah, if they'll work like the glowstone, but at least they don't like break into nothing. So all we gotta know is that it's somewhere over there, so we don't get lost. Um, so there are like a lot of sounds and new ambience. I watched a video on it for each new biome in the nether, and it's pretty crazy. And I'm like, they need to make some new ones for the overworld, and they do. Anyway, this is um, these forests and everything really strange looking. I really like it. Did we find another waste? Let's not die. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, we need some gold. There's some piglins. And I don't know if this is another waste or if it's just. I don't know. Also, they got rid of zombie pigmen and now they have zombie piglins. So hopefully the zombie piglins work the same as the other ones because gold farms may be obsolete now. And we need new ones because piglin farms are going to be the most OP thing ever in Minecraft for a very long time because you can get so much valuable items. You can get like netherite so easy. And if you know the struggles of getting netherite and how hard it is, it's pretty tough. And so you can get them after trading up for a long time or bartering whatever with the same one you have a chance of getting it if you have a ton of them trapped inside one thing like just like a glass chamber or something with a hopper below it and a ton of chests if you have just dispensers dropping gold oh it'll work and if you have a gold farm then it works like a charm thing is i don't know if you'll be able to get all those piglins into the overworld because gold farms may not work here but they might because then you could also have that gold just from the farm draining into there, and you just have stacked up. You're going to need a ton of chests. It's going to stack up a lot. All right, well, we're not looking too good on food. We don't have keep inventory on. So let's try not to run around a lot, but... Yeah, and their men don't drop anything. They're pretty dangerous. We could get some stuff from the piglins, but I think we need to... Find red nether wart forest. It's pretty tough living in the nether, that's for sure. Also, I'm not sure if I should be able to move my spawn plane because you can always make new beds, but maybe not until I make another one of those, then I can't move it. So I need to make another one of those. Um, already forgot what it was called, but the respawn thing. Okay, some glowstone. All right. Oh, it's gonna be tough, by the way, to kill. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Okay. You see that, guys? I don't have Optifine. I need to get it, but... Oh, no. We found another fortress. Blazes and everything. It's going to be tough, but we need weapons so that we can at least, even if we were to find... Oh, these are the leaves in the ground. Even if we were to find um, a red nether wart forest, which is another wart forest, I think, we would probably die trying to kill the hoglins. Oh, look at that. Right there, too. We get something we can mine that gold, and then we won't be hurt by the uh, piglins. There's a tree on the inside here. It's like a little tiny 
don't know just get this though all right we need to find a way up into here this isn't that far from our spawn i don't think we shouldn't be that lost but if we get any sort of hurt we're on one heart so yeah well, i guess we'll have fun doing this one all right We need a way to get up there to the top. It's not, oh my gosh. Jeez. I jumped. No, please, no. I jumped. Did you see that? Look at this. Oh no. Oh no. Do not blow up my spawn, please. Please, so slow. So, there that is. You can see one of those is taken away. We need to get, like, glowstone. I don't know if shroom light will work. Okay get back to where we were okay we took that route wonder if that route is a way up to the actual fortress though Let's see if we can find ourselves I wasn't even really looking at him though geez I can't believe I jumped well you always need a nice scare it's over here, right? No, but I do remember that. That's familiar. Mm, yes. Over here. And we go over here. Yes, we did. All right, so it's actually not that far from spawn okay okay no nope. let's just get our stuff that's all we had all right look down look down you're standing in your grave look down i don't actually know all the lyrics to that song but if you ever seen that movie? I don't really remember the name. This is weird. Like it looks like a weird purple or maroonish, but I know it's red. Just the contrast there. All right, we need to find another route. Okay, up there, an alternative route. Ain't no way I'm ever doing this on hardcore. Nope. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. Um, what's that? I think it's just render distance or something. Oh, there's a skeleton. All right, well, let's make a little staircase then. Suck at placing blocks. Come on now. <clears throat> There's literal trees. Now I know these aren't trees, so shrooms, I guess. Going into the side here. <gasps> that was scary. to blocks that was but okay oh we need to oh no and there's piglins we just need to find some chests i don't think they made any general changes to the fortresses they seem pretty normal there's some some places and there's that all right let's get some nether wart we should get another wart farm gotta at least have some sort of farm right Got some. Oh no. I wanted to grab that chest, but there's a blaze right there. Oh. Okay. 
Let's lure him out here, maybe. Oh gosh. Break the chest, break the chest, break it, break it, break it, break it. Yes. Oh no. Oh gosh, no. No, 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 no. Why? Why? No, please. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, right at like the ending of the video, practically. Well, guys, that's the end of episode one. I'm going to get my stuff back off camera. No, I'm not going to go on creative. But um, I just don't want to waste the whole video of me trying to get my stuff. So, yeah, next episode is just this terrible fortress. Thanks for watching. If you want to see me do anything else on this channel, comment that down. And, uh, yeah, see you next time.